Hi friends, this is Ramya Ranjan working as an assistant professor in Biani Institute of Science and Management. Today I am going to take class on labor, especially the first stage of labor. Let us see first see the definition of the labor. What is labor? What do you mean by labor? Now it's the definition. Here it is the definition. It is the series of events that take place in the genital organ in an effort to expel the viable product of conception out of the womb through the vagina into the outer world is known as labor. That is, it is a series of events. In labor, a series of events take place in the genital organ. Okay, in labor, the series of events that take place in the genital organ. And why it take place? To expel out the viable product of conception from vagina to the outer world. And it is known as the labor. Now let us see the what are the stages of the labor. Uh, labor it is divided into four stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And now we are um, uh, we are talking today. We talk about the first stage of the labor. Let us see the stages of labor. In first stage, it is uh, it is the cervical stage. First stage is also known as the cervical stage. Why it is known as cervical stage? Because the st it starts from the onset of the labor yani uh, from uh, when our true labor pain start the uh, stage one starts when the two true labor pain start okay the onset of the labor to the full dilatation of the cervix that is 10 centimeter it starts from the onset of the labor to the full dilatation of the cervix that is 10 centimeter in case of primary uh, primary mother the duration of the first stage is 10 to 12 hours and in case of multi mothers that is uh, the first stage uh, lasts for 6 to 8 hours okay now let us talk about the second stage of the labor it is also known as the stage of expulsion stage or uh, the stage of delivery okay uh, uh, it is the period between the full dilatation of the cervix in first stage the full dilatation of the cervix occur so the after the full dilatation of the cervix uh, to the expulsion of the fetus yeah, which is termed as the second stage of the labor it means when the cervix fully dilate the second stage of the labor from there the second stage of the labor start okay the when the cervix fully dilate to the uh, uh, till the delivery of the baby that period is known as the second stage of the labor and the duration we, if we talk about the duration of this labor this period the in primary mother it is one to two hours and in multi mother it is half to one hours okay so this is the second stage of the labor now coming to the third stage of the labor which is also known as the placental stage okay which is also known as the placental stage till second stage the baby is out of the world now in the third stage the, uh, starts from the expulsion of the fetus to till the delivery of the placenta and the membrane okay you have seen that the in third stage starts from the expulsion of the fetus to the delivery of the placenta and the membrane here in duration we can say that in primary mother it is for 15 to 30 minutes and in multi mother it is for 5 to 10 minutes okay now the last stage is the stage of observation okay it is the fourth stage and it is known as the stage of the observation now it is also known as the observation stage the period after the delivery of the placenta membrane up to one hours the this period this observation period is very crucial period very important period because after the uh, delivery of the uh, baby and the placenta and the membrane the stage begins after the delivery of the placenta and the membrane and up to one hour the mother will be under the observation period uh, we will check if there are any complication to the mother if there are any redness or if there are any bleeding occur to the mother any complication to the mother we will observe for one hours okay so this is known as the observation stage so we have seen the definition of the labor then uh, the labor is divided into four stage first stage second stage third stage and the fourth stage 
this is all about the stages of labor now we will discuss about the first stage in briefly okay now let's see in first stage of labor what are the physiological changes in this okay in first stage the physiological changes do not three p's they are power passage and passenger in power means contraction okay in first uh, p three p's are power passage and passenger we will discuss about first power power mein dekho it means contraction power means contraction okay the now the contraction are of two type primary and secondary contraction in uterus there are two type of contractions are there primary contraction and secondary contraction primary contraction uh, if we say about primary contraction it is the involuntary contraction of the uterine muscle fiber to expel the fetus then in the secondary contraction it is the bearing up uh bearing effort of the mother to pull the fetus out of the womb okay so it is the voluntary contraction so the in primary contraction and secondary contraction primary contraction is the involuntary contraction and secondary contraction is the bearing down that is the mother feel urge to push the baby so there are two types of contraction contraction in the fundus the uh, here it is the uterus diagram of the uterus this is the fundal area and this is a uh, isthmus and this is the cervix this is a fundus body isthmus and the cervix of the uterus so these contractions starts from the, the in uterus the contraction starts from the fundal area especially the area of the cornua here here it is the area of the cornua from here the uterine contraction start and and it will pass over the entire uterus okay the intensity of the contraction is higher in the this uh, fundal area okay then it passes over to the whole uterus the contraction does not entirely passes off after contraction there is a relaxation then again contraction then relaxation in between that the contraction and relaxation the the contraction does not entirely passes off there are some amount of contraction will be there in the uterus which is known as retraction okay which is known as the retraction and which is this is known as the fundal dominance of the uterus again i will explain you in fundal dominance of the uterus the contraction starts from the fundus particularly the area of the cornua this is the area of the cornua from here the uterine contraction start now the uh, contraction passes over to the full uterus okay but uh, but the the contraction will not entirely passes off there are some amount of contraction will be there in the uterus which is known as a retraction now let us see the duration of this contraction in first stage uh, early 30 second the contraction lasts for 30 second mid of the first stage the contraction lasts for 40 seconds and late of the first stage the contraction start for 50 to 60 second then we will discuss about the second stage of the contraction start for uh, stay for 60 to 90 second then uh, if we talk about the frequency of the contraction in first stage it uh, 3 to 5 per 10 minutes the contraction will be 3 to 5 per 10 minute in second stage the contraction will be 6 to 7 per 10 minutes and if we talk about the rhythm in first stage the contraction will be irregular okay the contraction will be irregular and in the second stage the contraction will be regular rhythmic and expulsive contraction will be there so these are all about the power now let's see the passage what is the passage let us see about the passage so this is the passage now passage is again divided into the uterus and the cervix first of all we will see about the uterus okay now in uterus there is a formation of upper segment and lower segment okay upper segment consists of the fundus and the body part and the lower segment consists of the isthmus okay the lower segment is also known as the active segment the lower segment is also sorry the upper segment is also known as the active segment upper segment is the fundus and the body this region is the upper segment and it is also known as the active segment because because uh, this segment contract and retract throughout the 
labor this segment contract and retract throughout the labor in case of while well, we will talk about the lower segment it is known as the passive segment because uh, during the labor it contract and dilate throughout the labor it contract and dilate throughout the labor now there is a, a neuromuscular ho uh, harmony between these two upper segment and the lower segment when the upper segment contract and retract simultaneously the lower segment contract and dilate throughout the labor so this neuromuscular harmony is known as the polarity so this is known as polarity a neuromuscular harmony between the upper segment and the lower segment when we talk about the bandel string there will be a ridge between the upper segment and lower segment there here here is a ring between the upper segment and lower segment this link will slowly rise towards the upper segment okay till the cervix fully dilate during the process of dilatation the this ring uh, slowly rises upwards okay this ring slowly rises upwards towards the upper segment okay here is the ring this ring slowly rises upwards towards the upper segment till the full dilatation of the cervix so this is all about the uterus now we will talk about the cervix we will talk about the cervix okay in cervix there is the softening effacement and dilatation of the cervix occur in cervix there is the softening effacement and dilatation of the cervix occur and which is known as the ripening of cervix first we will discuss about the softening okay this is the cervical part and first we will discuss about the softening of the cervix in pregnancy period the cervix becomes softened because of the influence of the hormone in pregnancy period the cervix becomes softened because of the influence of the hormone okay so that is known as the softening of the cervix then coming to the effacement effacement is the taking up of the cervix in that is when the muscle fibers surrounding the internal ovaries here it is the internal ovaries the muscle fibers surrounding the internal ovaries is pulled by the upper uterine segment during the each contraction here from here the contraction starts we all know that from here the contraction coming from the uh, downwards it will push the internal ovaries okay it will push the internal ovaries at one period at or at one stage the cervix completely merge into the lower uterine segment the, com the cervix completely merge into the lower uterine segment. from here the contraction will start it will push the internal ovaries and what period the cervix will completely merge into the lower uterine cervix which is known as the taking up of the uterus uh, okay which is effacement Uh, the in initial period the effacement will be 0% uh, when the cervix is partially merged that is the uh, into the lower uterine cavity which is known as the 50% effaced or in completely merged which is which is uh, we can say that it is 100% effaced in dilatation now we have talked about the uh, softening and then effacement then in case of dilatation it is measured in centimeters the cervix will continuously dilate okay and it is measured in centimeter full dilatation means 10 cm okay full dilatation means 10 cm in primary mother the effacement occurs first then dilatation occur okay in primary mother the effacement will occur first then dilatation will occur but in case of multi mother both the effacement and dilatation take place constantly uh, simultaneously okay both the effacement and dilatation take place simultaneously so this is a these are all about the passage in passage we have discussed about the uterus and the cervix now we will talk about passenger that is your fetus okay we we'll discuss about the formation of the four water in the formation of the four water it will happen when the uh, if, if we all know that in uterus there will be a continuous contraction and relaxation and uh, for that for by that contraction and relaxation the the bag will rupture okay for the bag will rupture the amniotic fluid 
the bag will rupture. After the uh, bag rupture of the bag, there is a accumulation of the little amount of water in front of the presenting part, which is known as pour water, and the uh, little accum uh, little amount of water will accumulate uh, the back of the presenting part, which is known as the hind water. That uh, by that we can say that formation of the pour water, okay, will be there, and formation of hind water will be also there. Then we will talk about the fetal axis pressure. As we know that there is a continuous contraction and relaxation in the uterine muscle. These contraction and relaxation continuously uh, occur. Uh, 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 continuously occur and it will force to the fetus axis or fetus sp spinal cord which, uh, which force the fetal fetus and with it uh, contract uh, because of the contraction the force of the contraction the force will uh, um, push the fetus outside the so uh, this force all accumulate on the fetal axis uh, uh, fetus spinal cord which will again force the fetus to move for downward okay then the rupture of the membrane occur we all know that contraction uh, these formation of four water and the fetal axis pressure contraction and relaxation all these occur the member to rupture and the fluid will come out and this is the end stage of the first stage of the labor or beginning of the second stage of the labor so we have discussed about the passage in passage we have seen the formation of four water or fetal axis pressure or rupture of the membrane okay we have in physiological changes uh, we have seen three p's uh, the power passage and passenger we have discussed about the first stage of the labor i hope you all have understood thank you thank you